Today's set reading from the Gospel could not have been a better one for me. Several years ago I was sent a brand new, unopened Bible by a Christian organisation and asked to do two things. The first was to choose a verse from the Bible. I had the whole of the Bible to choose from, 66 books in all, with a vast number of verses. If you had the whole Bible to choose one verse from, I wonder what you would pick. The verse which I chose was from Matthew chapter 11. Technically, it was three verses, 28 through to 30, yet with one clear thought and invitation. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. I wonder which of those words of Jesus resonate most with you today. Perhaps weariness and the need for rest, the weight of the burdens you're carrying for yourself or for others to be relieved, a path or direction which better fits who you know deep inside you want to be. To use a word frequently used by Archdeacon Neil, these words from Jesus' lips are truly beautiful and they are releasing. Today we've been encouraged to remember those who serve as chaplains in the prison service across our nation. Each of us have experienced the deprivations of lockdown these past months. For those in our prisons, it has meant being locked in their cell for all bar one hour a day. Many are mourning the death of loved ones due to COVID-19. Chaplaincy teams across the different faiths have been thinned by the loss of volunteers and those shielding. It's not been an easy time for staff, for prisoners or chaplains. They are weary. In all of this, chaplains have continued to live out those words of Jesus, going to those whom society has largely forgotten, some of whom have committed terrible crimes and will spend most, if not all, their life behind bars. Their heavy burdens may be different from the ones we feel, but Christ can, and wishes to, offer them rest for their souls and transformation of their lives, lives which may have been warped and set on a destructive trajectory from their earliest days. As the first person to be sent that Bible and choose a verse, I was asked to highlight it with a marker pen and then to send it on to another bishop. That bishop would then in turn highlight their, voice, uh, their verse of choice and again send it on. Brothers and sisters, I want to invite you this week to set aside time to consider which verse you would have chosen in my shoes. Reflect on what it is that has made that verse so important to you and thank God for the difference it continues to make in your life. Then, and frankly this is the more challenging part, I want you to open a conversation with someone, ideally not a regular worshipper, and share with them the Bible reading you've chosen, and why you did so. Here's a way to start. Begin the conversation by saying Bishop Lee asked everyone who listened to him this weekend to find someone to talk to about a Bible verse which has become very important to them, and I chose you. Would you mind listening to my story? May God make this a light and easy mission. God bless.